in one place. Yeah, imagine that. Imagine there being hey guys. beards. All the beards. Yeah, so many beards. Mm -hmm. Just waiting for people to join up a little bit before I, uh, you know, walk around too much. Hey, enjoy the show. Glad yeah. to be here. Hey, there's Anna in Kentadora. All right. So, folks, hey, JC, Becky, welcome, welcome. So, uh, I am here at the Baltimore Washington International Pin Show. Uh, for 2019, we are kind of in the back of this Marriott here. You can see there's the, the front desk area back in there. Uh, and so this is the, let me switch this around right quick. All right, there we go. There's an Adam right there. Um, so yeah, it was a wild Bert. Uh, as you come down this hallway, uh, past the eating area and such, you will find a large pen show. The pen show is mainly in one large room this year. Uh, there's just a little bit of stuff out here in the uh, the hallway atrium area. You've got Bertram's uh, inkwell here. You can find them with the giant wall of refills and such. There are inks on the table. There's an Adam here slinging all the things. All the things. <laughs> Deals and steals that you just can't imagine living without. You can't imagine, you know, you can't imagine living without them. <laughs> deals and steals over here on this side, he says. Ah, including some nice blue diplomats I may have to get my hands on soon. I'm a huge fan of those. Let me have a couple in my pocket at the moment. Uh, and then uh, the only other thing out here really is uh, registration stuff. So this is a pretty... Uh, a uh, pretty chill little area. It's actually kind of calmed down here on Friday afternoon. It was pretty busy this morning, and uh, then it calmed down a little bit. There's uh, Evan Max right there with his flamingo. There is our friend, the Sloth Scout. Uh, let's go ahead and head on into the ballroom here. So, as you can see, right here. <laughs> oh, you want to torture yourself by watching it when you can't be here? Well, you know, if you can't visit, at least you can visit sort of vicariously through video. That's a good way to do it. Uh, you can see there, going through the crowd, the famous Brad Dowdy heading back to his table. We got Tom over here. This is Points of Distinction right here inside the door. Yeah, it is a really nice sized room. Hey, how's it going? Um, so, uh, Points of Distinction is selling all kinds of cool stuff, including uh, write pads, notebooks, uh, diplomat stuff, some Twisbees, uh, and all manner of other things. Magna Carta is here. It's Hillary with points of distinction. Yeah, that is a very sparkly pen. Isn't that beautiful? This yeah. is the Oxford Diamond from Magna Carta. Right on. I haven't tried any of the Magna Carta pens yet, but that is pretty cool. You'll have to check them out. Yeah, we will do. Thanks. It was actually used by the king. The uh, king, you yeah, say? Yeah, the king. Uh, it was actually used by the king. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, all sorts of things here in trays, including some more diplomats I have to get my hands on. There's the red and blue skylines there, as well as the greens and such. Red and blue arrows, one of my favorite pens. <laughs> Leather from Franklin Kristoff, also available here. Safest way to go to the pin show is not to be at the pin show, that's true. Uh, next up on the line here is uh, Visconti. So Coles of London brings out all kinds of awesome Visconti stuff. So <laughs> Evan, here's uh, Evan Rosenberg, who I just showed you with his flamingo, commenting on the chat. New Pentagon, there's a very nice pen in the hand. How's the, uh, how's the live feed, y'all? Last time I watched one of these, I was kind of disappointed with how the video came out, but I did pony up for the internet, so this uh, ought to be a lot better. So please let me know if this is uh, looking good or not. Last one was pretty terrible. Hey, guys. Hello. Yeah, let's see. Live fish is keeping better? Okay, good. I'm glad they're looking good. That's good. Good, good. That's what happened. I should just pony up for the internet more often. Right on. I'll also, in case you're watching now and will be free later, I'll be uh, live streaming the Makers panel this evening. It'll be 6 o'clock Eastern, so that'll be pretty good. 
It's way better on Wi-Fi? Good. There we go. There we go. I actually really like the swirl pattern on these. Looks really nice. Let's see. Some pops of color in here. Some of the wilder stuff that you'll have in here. Yeah, the Midnight in Florence ones are real nice. I'm gonna come back and get a better look at those. Uh, next up over here, what'd you miss? Ah, oh, just the entry of the pin show. I should say there's also some stuff over on this side. Uh, we'll come back through here later on. But uh, it is a nice big full room. So here are some very old bottles of Quink and such. Oof. <laughs> some nice antique Scrip ink. Yep, Crazy Allen's Emporium. There is the titular Crazy Allen down there. I've been meaning to do a sort of uh, field trip out to his store. We'll do that for one of these live streams uh, coming up soon. Yeah. There's all kinds of uh, good stuff here, paper and pens. Hey, Joe, what's up? There's Crazy Allen himself right there, slinging pens. Another wall of pens. Pen by Lamy. Yeah. Oh, the petrol, huh? You still have one of those left. One left. Oh, nice. So you got a whole and lot ink. of ink. And an ink, yeah. <laughs> I may have picked up a few of those at one point. <laughs> yeah, they have a great paper selection. Uh, probably the best paper selection here, I think. Check out the Vertex. Yeah, I'll get down there here in a little bit. This is Audrey here at Kristoff. She is uh, not doing a pin right at the moment. She's busy making nibs. This is Audrey's. Yeah, I know. I, I picked it out and I bought it. Yeah, I know, I know. No. Yeah, Mikasa, Sukasa, etc. This is uh, that's from Jonathan Brooks. I have another one in my pocket. Uh, people want to see your nails, Audrey. We have the special edition from West Germany. There you go. That's actually really good uh, coming out well on the video. She's looking very fancy. These are from Polish Pickup, right? Yep. Available just this weekend. That's it. Until Monday. There's 100 bottles of this. It's online. Where do they find it? Polish Pickup. Or just look up, search Polish Pickup. Let's yep. go find that one. It's called what? Whatever? It's called Whatever by Leisha's Lacquer, she says, in case you couldn't hear. All right. There's Mandy. She's also, she, she hurt her foot, so she's been uh, sitting down and doing some nibs. and. I'm in bad shape. Yeah, you sliced your finger. I've got two fingers. I'm not going to hold up the middle finger, though, but it's the middle finger. She's really on the injured reserve today. And there's uh, some prototype stuff in here. Here are a couple of characters you may have seen on the Instagrams. I always love running into them at pin shows. Got some ghosts. Got some oranges. <laughs> I'll let her know you said not to slice your fingers anymore. There's uh, the Franklin Kristoff watch. You see those every once in a while. The uh, dragon pen. The sort of... Uh, uh, clover leaf pen. Yep, and from DC. Yep, those are the ones I see them at usually. Still got some Italian ice. We got some uh, antique glass here in all kinds of forms. I actually haven't had time to really come and look at those, but they are around. We do, of course, have uh, paper and leather, and there's an Eleanor behind the table. <laughs> She's helping out this weekend. Uh, all the testers here to be checked out. I actually brought ink to the show, which they don't bring to most shows because uh, you really can't fly with that stuff very well. Are there any 65 prototypes? Um, looks like, yeah, there's a couple. There's a yellow one. Oh, no, so there's a blue and a red. They're Those two are 65s. I don't really see any others right now, but there might be more out tomorrow. I don't really know. Pardon. Uh, and then going down here, wife loves the black cherry. Good. Got Dave Rezatarsi here pretending to be Martin. Doing awesome. There are uh, all kinds of cool pins here under glass, including this orange uh, vanishing point that is uh, always gorgeous, but also exclusive. So, some stuff he's selling here. Usually doing pin repairs up in this area as well. 
He's holding down the fort. <laughs> oh, we got Esterbrook Estes here on the table. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah real nice collection of small Schaefers. Yeah. That cadmium is always a good color. Oh, some more mustard uh, vanishing points. I heard this is a limited edition at some point, this mustard one. No, it's still, still available. Still available? Still available. Well, I thought I had a gem. I have a nut gem. It's still a great pen. I don't care. It's still a great pen. You can't yeah. buy them here, so. Oh, you can't buy them here? No, Japan only. Oh, it's Japan only. That might be the exclusive bit. That's the exclusive bit. Uh, Dave here has a really absurd uh, collection of vanishing points. Uh, so if you want to see some. And you have them with you? No. Oh, he didn't bring them. Well, you're going to have to see them some other time. But if you come out to the Triangle Pin Show, he's usually got them around somewhere. So, yeah, come on out. <laughs> Thanks. Also, all kinds of uh, pen cases and trays and such here, including this one, which is kind of wild. It's like a toolbox that opens up and it has pen trays inside. Only 75 bucks. This could be yours. Yeah. Real cool. There's also a lamp cord. That can't go with it. <laughs> uh, here have Kara's custom stuff. There's Bill Karras right there. Uh, yeah, no, JC, you really can't be there. Yeah, whoa, that pin box tray thing, right? Crazy, huh? There's a lot of pins in there. Let's see how big a pin will fit in it, actually. This is a Diplomat Arrow. Arrow doesn't quite fit, so it has to be smaller pens. But this is a fairly large pen, so most other stuff would probably fit in there. Uh, they have their uh, ink from Papier Plume here. They have some patches. They've got all kinds of cool things, including these, which actually look pretty rad. Look at that. Nice corrosion action there. Very nice silent knock. You can't hear it at all. Bright colors, ribs, bolts. The new galaxies and starliners here. Well, new-ish anyway. Uh, they have testers here as well for their pens. And the newest one that y'all are asking about is the Vertex, which is down over here. This is an acrylic pen. The snap cap, like these. There's a nice contoured section on it. Good affirmative cap action. So they've got those in uh, green, sort of a grayish pearlescent color. <laughs> I like silent dogs, but have a clicky sound. No, no clicky sound on those. And also a couple of them down here that look like uh, oddball prototype type things. All right. uh, down here we got JJ Lax. Hey, <laughs> head down working on nibs as usual. Uh, Jonathan Brooks, whose table I've already done some damage to. Uh, there are a few pins left. I left a couple for other people to try. Which uh, Well, I got this one. Well, I don't know. No, no, you wouldn't have seen this one. I may have picked that up before the show was really open, but... <laughs> he said no pins there. Actually, let me show folks what's on here right quick. If you want some serious sparkle, there's some in this tray. Uh, some glossy, koi-looking materials here. Uh, some more sparkle in the back. Arushi stuff back toward him. Uh, and the matte tray. Looks like there's one pen left in the matte finish. Oh, look. Uh, look at the surprise. Surprise! Oh, yeah. Nice. Totally different material. That looks cool. Yeah. That's the only matte one left. That's it. <laughs> if you want those matte pens, you got to hit it early. Yeah, right next to Kanalea. Let's see what we're here. Hey Elizabeth, welcome. I'll be going by your dad's table eventually. Uh, Connolly, of course. You and Carol here. <laughs> I brought all kinds of good stuff to the show. Yeah. He was my There you go. Pardon me, guys. East Coast guy. These displays are really pretty awesome. I especially like this one. Looks like they've got some blank spaces in their, uh, their setup as well, which is nice. It means they've sold stuff. And over here we have the Kennedys, Mike and Linda, doing uh, uh, pen repair and uh, nib work and all sorts of things. They do great work over there. 
here, all kinds of vintage of all sorts. You never know what you'll find exactly when you come to a fountain pen show, including jewelry. Oh, I was looking at these earlier. We gotta get a close up of these guys. These are all folded steel. Some geese, some cufflinks, pins, earrings. Oh, pardon me. There we go. These are hot from the forges. <laughs> you can check them out here. Let's see if I can get the contrast right for the camera. There we go. That's it. All right, yeah. and fountain pens, of course, not just regular old pens. There you go. Next up, going around the back, we've got Story Supply. How's it going, man? I do. I'm very sneaky. <laughs> we've got all kinds of very colorful things from rickshaw with Story Supply embroideries. We've got retro supplies, paper, and their notebook covers which are pretty great that's what all my gardening journals are in these nice thick leather notebooks I like these let me check these guys out oh this is a fun one some elephant and rhinosaurus eyes yeah. and uh, next up is Jimmy Dolliff and his daughter with all sorts of you never know what you're going to find on this table. This is one in which you are never going to know what's coming. But all kinds of good deals. Rare stuff, exclusive stuff. Uh, Mont Blancs, Sailors, Platinums. All kinds of things. Some Pilots. This looks like there's still left. This was actually pretty close to being lined up. I hear that's pretty much random, but you never know. Big pilot customer, Rushi. It was getting shaky. Well, I'm in the back ballroom, so that could happen. Hopefully it'll clear up. Uh, nice Omas. Some uh, Rushi hematites. And back here we have Ryan Krusak's set up. Including all kinds of Grimshaw done on antlers, no animals harmed. <laughs> Fish scales on caps. Yeah, the pilot customer Rushi is nonsense big. Way too big. Oh, you're fine. Don't mind me. Over here, I have some of the L12s, which are a small sized pen. And he's also incorporated a couple of different clips. Let's see if I can. Yeah, this is the wooden clip. Sort of an overlay over a metal clip. And then a new one, which is a metal spring clip. Thanks, Ryan. You bet. Quite the hand model. <laughs> which is new and a very nice looking clip. Strong, seems effective. Stainless steel. Stainless steel? Stainless steel. Right on. I've been staring at this uh, black and white one back here. Buckeye Burl. Buckeye Burl, California. Says. <laughs> so he says, oh, the horror, a clip on a Crusac pen. I know, right? <laughs> That's the guy who puts clips on pens because people ask for them. <laughs> hey, Brian, welcome. He'll be up here tomorrow, right, Brian? <laughs> Thanks, Brian. And uh, this is the Yaffa area, including Paniter and Conklin and Diplomat, Monteverde pens. Saturday all day, you, huh? Go. There's the Yaffa guys. What's up, Ken? Good man. All kinds of pins and trays over here for you to find out. You watching TV over here? <laughs> no, definitely not. No, totally, totally working, boss. Totally working. <laughs> um, so we're kind of going around the back of the room. Oh, I forgot to show this side over here. Sorry, Federalist pins and paper is here. I should probably start doing both sides of the dial if I can. Hopefully the image quality holds up. They have all sorts of modern stuff, mostly. Federalist pens. Some of which you'll find other places in the room, others not so much. Some very nice platinums. 
many platinums and out of sight from Federalist Pens. I don't think uh, I don't think I've seen luxury brands, and the Andersons aren't here, so it's pretty much these guys. There's Federalist Frank here. <laughs> Doing well, man. Doing good. Doing a little live stream for the YouTube. Hello. <laughs> we got uh, Robert Oster ink of all kinds, some noodlers. Big crates of ink. They actually set up very quickly today. A lot of times they'll still be setting up, uh, you know, most of the way through the uh, the first day, and uh, they were done pretty quick. So they're really getting on it today. Uh, on the other hand, or on the other side, is a uh, a new vendor that I haven't met before, and I think they're from around this part. This is Queen's Ink. Check them out. They're one of the show's sponsors, and really the only place around here you're going to find Midori stuff. All kinds of travelers. We've got the uh, the journals, we've got the, uh, the calendars. I've been trying out one of these Midori calendars, and they're working pretty well for me. Hey, how's it going, folks? Doing well. I'm just doing a little live YouTube. Some preppies. Some black wings. Maybe the only place uh, you're going to find black wings in the room. I haven't seen any others. Good setups. And over on this side, we have the Drom Ghouls with uh, ink, sailor stuff, some pilot stuff. And then you get into the real amazing things down here. Have you gone by your dad? No, I haven't gotten to your dad yet, Elizabeth. We'll get to him in a little bit. <laughs> Probably saw some of these things in the Philly show walk around, but this video, I think, is better than the last one. Hooray for Wi-Fi. <laughs> Looking for some pins that are going to draw some attention. Check out these guys. This kind of Arushi really calls to me. I really like that design. Pretty, pretty nice. And then under glass, mostly Danny Trios here. Maybe entirely Danny Trios. But some of these are real big. This is in a hand for reference. That's a big pen. I think this design is also gorgeous. You can just really feel those divots. Also, you can kind of see me in the background. Hey. <laughs> We have Tasha's set up here, a tiny samurai. We have some uh, uh, cool pins from Japan here. We have some Arushi and Makie and other sorts of things. Sujin. <laughs> we have Main Street pins here. Doing pen repair and such. I'll probably need to get my authorization if you put my picture in there because otherwise people sue you for putting up the ugliest person on you. <laughs> I mean, if I was making money off it, they'd sue. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> take care, man. <laughs> All kinds of cool vintage up in here. Uh, it's live on YouTube now. Yep, doing it live. Just doing it live. Richard Greenwald has some really cool stuff in here. See the sections and pieces of pens. How much is this thing? materials that he has, that he's making. All right, so there's Richard right there. And take a look at this guy. Doesn't even fit in the tray. Yeah. <laughs> it's not finished yet. That's a uh, mother of pearl abalone, 14 karat yellow gold. It's an actual signed piece. Oh, nice. And I made the nib. It's a double-sided nib. One side's uh, architect grind, the other side's a stub. Oh, wow. Uh, cool. The cap is not done yet, and the clip might have a diamond or two in it. Uh, I mean, you might as well throw in a couple of diamonds. Change. It's in the mid oh, yeah, four digits. Yeah. Yeah, that. Then we have the Potomac Ink View. Which is, again, uh, it has my uh, plunger system that I've, I've made. Uh, everything on this pen I've made. So when you Everything. need some more, Except for the nib of uh, this pen, line. the nib unit. Or you can buy them at Bird Other than that, everything or? I've yeah. made, yeah. I've cast the uh, uh, bird the clip, stuff and you know, I play it, do all my own plating. <laughs> I do all my own everything. All right, but please clean your These hold about one and a half to two milliliters of ink each. If you know David Wright at the uh, PCA, Sure. He has one. You can ask him how he likes it. He, yeah. He's he's carrying it with him. You 
bought it uh, last year. Oh, cool. And uh, he has it. So that's yeah. the Potomac Ink dealer. Yeah, I love the clip on these guys. The clip Thank is you. outstanding. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I had one guy take, uh, borrowed a pen and took the thing apart. <laughs> and he didn't put it back together the right way. Oh, nice. It really took me off. You guys know it's great when people do that. Yeah. Yeah. You can take it apart and you can almost put it back together. Yeah, oh, what's this extra? <laughs> That's right. So you can take part of an old fort. Yeah. So these are some nibs. I, uh, the, these are made out of my FlexiGram material. And my FlexiGram is uh, a plastic that I, I'm the only one that makes it. And commercial, commercial pen makers have used it also. Mm -hmm. uh, comes in 38 standard colors. It's, they're all over there on the, on the racks. Uh, these are the nibs. Uh, that I've re-tipped and... Oh, re-tipping, huh? Yeah, I've gotten into re-tipping. Uh, not, uh, I'm not yet ready to put up a shingle on it, but uh, yep. when I feel confident enough, that's when I'll do it. If you're looking for it, this is where you can find it. Let me grab a card. Thank you. Yep. There you go, there's the card. It's Richard Greenwald. I only do three shows a year. I do What's the, the third one? You do DC too, I do yeah? DC, and I do this show called here. These are my home shows. Yeah, right. I, I do Columbus. Oh, right on. I haven't actually made it to the Columbus show. I've got to get out there one of these days. Yeah, that's what I hear. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just I'm a college professor, so it's a very awkward part of the year for me. It's, but I'll get out there one of these days. Yeah. Thanks, Richard. Nice chatting with you. There's the... Uh, Rods of material he's just talking about. Hmm. There you go. All right. And uh, down here. Hey, how's it going? And here we have uh, Dale's Opus Meacham, which are really cool pens. Some of the coolest are these ones with watch parts just built into the pens, into the material. All the gears meticulously placed. Gorgeous, gorgeous work. We got some serious sparkle going on here. If you're into a pen with a lot of bling, we got some carbon fiber here in the back. Yeah, I think they're super cool too, Mike. I look back through the. <laughs> this is a large show. Yeah, it is, Julie. It's a big one. Uh, let's see. Sorry, going back through the comments a little bit. <laughs> let's see. Oops. All right. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, if I don't reply to your comment, it's not because I'm ignoring it. It's because I often just don't see it as it scrolls by pretty quickly on the screen here. There you go. There's Dale himself. <laughs> well, thanks. Don't mind me. I'm just going to pass by. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> and here, there's all kinds of Schaefer's here, oh, including service pens, all kinds of cool ephemera here, including <laughs> these Schaefer lamps that I keep talking myself out of buying so far, but one of these days, I might just come home with me. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I think I also, yeah, this giant pen for sale? Yeah. Huh? All right, 2,000 is a little rich for my blood right now, but that's pretty, uh, that's a big, that's a big unit right there. <laughs> that is a big pen. If you need a giant Schaefer, I know a guy you can talk to. <laughs> I have hard rubber. My mom brought, uh, bought a snorkel here. From uh, from Bob in Dallas last year, she's still loving that thing. There you go. Oh, that's a fun color. Nice. You don't see that color too often. Thanks, Bob. And uh, here we have uh, Van S. There's an Eleanor who's not working at the table. I don't know. She got caught not working. Uh, yep, this uh, this suit I got to back up for. Yep, there you go. Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> you got a gun Pardon? You got a gun on? Yeah, that's how I, that's how I aim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you put the microphone. Uh, but cool. it is cool. Yeah. It's a shotgun mic though, so I have to point it at the person who's talking. Otherwise, you get nothing. But yeah. works really well otherwise. Yeah, yeah. So just walking around. <laughs> Elizabeth Dowdy says she loves your suit. We're almost, we're almost down to your dad. You can see his head poking up there over the ink. So, <laughs> my sister also <laughs> likes that suit. <laughs> so, she says hi, Lisa. Hi. 
Oh yeah, I almost walked right past these. These are done by Rick Shaw, so we've got all kinds of cool designs. It's Joey's artwork. Yep, Joey Feldman, who I have uh, so far avoided meeting entirely. I've never gotten to meet that guy in person. L.A. and San Fran. I know, he didn't go to San Fran last That's year, right. so I didn't get He'll to meet him. This year, I, I know. And he was at D.C. one year a while ago, and I missed him there too somehow. It's uh, like shifts in the night, but he has some really wild artwork. And Mark over at Rickshaw does a great job translating that into fabric. Is that one of the hand rolls? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the hand rolls are pretty cool. Yep. Nice plush inside. I'll just show you the stuff he's making for me. Yes, yeah, yeah. too. Yeah. Got some Krishna ink here. You're not going to find those on any other tables around. One of Verde's, Ackerman's. It's cold in here. Lisa okay? claims it's cold in here. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Ignore <laughs> <laughs> me. I'm trying, jeez. <laughs> All kinds of Aurora and Montegrappa, some Estabrook Estes down in here, including some of this nice marine green, which is their newest one. Got some of these, uh, you know, very skinny pens. And she just put in the tray there. There's some. Is this, oh, this is one of Sean Newton's ones that he's doing for. Oh, this is the purple one. Yes. Yeah. So in the right light, this is a very dark purple. You can barely tell in this light. Yeah, it looks good. Lots of sparkle. They have a couple of those left anyway. Two. <laughs> two. There are two of those left. So if you want one of those, and you're going to be at the uh, B Whips 2019, get over here and get those. <laughs> Baltimore Washington International Pin Show. Be whips. Uh, a separate question. Are you videoing tonight's event? I am videoing tonight's event. Awesome. Yes, that's going to be live as well. Hopefully it will be awesome. We'll see. I hope the video works. <laughs> but they tell me this looks good. I'm going to be on the same Wi-Fi, so it ought to be okay. Yep. <laughs> see you later, Lisa. More wall of ink. And there's, uh, there's, this, there's this company called Knock. I don't know if you've heard of these guys before. But... Uh, this right here is... <laughs> oh, uh, little unicorn's not for everybody, Brad says. Uh, <laughs> your daughter says hi. Oh, great. Hey, Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> There's Tony over here. Who's that dude in the hoodie? Uh, I don't know. Some vagrant they let in. Oh, sorry. From uh, Tyler at Organic Studio. Very nice. Is it yeah. just a bright pink? It's emoji sparkle ink, and it's the emoji series. Cool. Unicorn blood shimmer. Unicorn Blood Shimmer. Delicious. I will check that out. Tony hasn't bankrupted Brad yet. I mean, it's early. It's early. It's more days. Yeah. Well, he's promised to just throw a bunch of stuff at me under the table, so I, it hasn't happened yet, but uh, uh, Brad didn't hear that. It's fine. <laughs> oh, well, and you can't do that then. Uh, I have some, some cool merch here. Yeah, yeah, open that one up. That's a uh, nice bright red. <laughs> Perfect. Good presentation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's probably my favorite of the new uh, the new colorways. Also got some uh, some purple here because we're in Ravens territory. Uh, yep, nailed it. Yeah, these two are rooming together, so uh, we'll see if Brad makes it out alive or if Tony does. Although uh, I don't know, Tony didn't know you snored when he took the invitation to. Yeah. I was like, well, when Brad and I room together, we both snore, so it's fine. It's bad. <laughs> Mine or yours? Well. <laughs> and gin. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked at all. Now I can buy more pencils. There you go. Yeah, some you. some cases so that look Thank like a pencil. This is a, uh, a pair of cases. This one is a long case, fits inside the shorter one. Can you model that for us? Thank you. Long pencil case sort of guy there. Nice heavy zipper. And then a shorter one that you can cram all kinds of things into, including this case. There you go. We've also got some pink neon uh, stickers. Yoink. An iPad. Uh, Tony's just giving those away. Uh, note cards. Big brass towns that will stick out like a tongue if you do it right. Thanks, guys. Come see these folks. They are right inside the doors, actually. You come in the right set of doors. That's where we came in. And uh, here you have uh, Brad and Tony slinging cases. Over here, you have Richard Bender doing nib work. Hey, Richard. 
And here, Stylo Suite, this is Les. And he does all kinds of interesting nib work. He's really good at doing flex nibs and setting things up that way. There he is right there, there's the man. Uh, <laughs> Look at those hands work, it's really going. Hey Alexander, welcome, welcome. So come over here and check out Les's stuff. Sit down, have a right. He will uh, tell you all about it. Here we have Tyler from Organic Studios. Say hey, what's up, Tyler. He's got some show <laughs> special inks here. This is those emoji inks that he was just talking about. That's the unicorn blood, I assume, there, that pink one with the shimmer. Yeah, yeah, yep. 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 That's amazing. Yep. You can find him. He's also right here in front of the uh, in front of the doors. And go around this way, folks. And then Aurora and such. Yeah, that's pretty. Thanks, Julie. Julie, if you find your fountain pen, we can get you some fancy ink for it. We've got uh, all kinds of Aurora here, some Monte Grappa. We're getting out of the Kinro stuff. Here are the Kinro guys. Good morning, afternoon, evening. Hola. It's, it's one of those things. It's one Hola, of those things. Está? Yep, yep. So, oh, you found it? Good. Good. Some more Esther books. We've seen these a couple of places in the room. You can come here and ch test them out, warm check yogurt, out their nibs and such. You, oh, warm yogurt, you say? Wow. <laughs> Man, warm yogurt. Brian Chu says hi. He'll be up here tomorrow. It's a new Monte Grappa here I haven't seen. Oh yeah, this is this year's uh, Fountain Pen Day pin. You find these with Carrie. With Baltimore and the meetup tomorrow night. Oh, there's a meetup tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, 8.30, then shows after dark. Okay. And tonight cool. is Brad at 6 o'clock. Yep, I'm live streaming that. Oh, I had to move the camera up. Yeah, I don't want to say the wrong time because I know you're live and they'll say, well, Carrie said. Yeah, it's 6 o'clock Eastern, so if you can join us there, we will be there. Hopefully live streaming well. Uh, I hear I have a seat in the front row. I'm very fancy. Well, I know. It's, I can't, so I can't make, uh, make faces anybody else. Uh, do Aurora have the new Zoom nib? Um, there's a Zoom. Somebody's got it. They do have it here. So if you come up tomorrow. Yep. Right on. Cool. Thanks, Gary. And thanks for asking. Haven't seen Nick yet. Uh, Nick is kind of in the middle. Um, actually, he's right. He's right there. That's Nick, right, right there in the hat. Now you can't see him. Now you can. Yep, right there. Um, so, here's some more sparkle, older Estabrook stuff. Well, older than the new stuff, newer than the old stuff. Rollerballs, ball points. The new Kodak. Wow, that is. Uh, that is some bit of packaging. Leonardo da Vinci's codex. So you actually have to turn the individual things to unlock it, and then, and then a pen comes out. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's a little bit is that unusual. the pen that comes with it? This is, yes. Like is that one of those um, uh, eternal one of the ethograph, things? Ethograph, yeah. It's, it's a, so what it actually does is it, um, it's, it, it turns the paper. It's a, it's a chemical reaction. Oh, really? Yeah, it's really, oh. really cool. Man, it was invented by uh, Leonardo da Vinci. That's what the rest of them look We're like, more or less. It's that kind of thing. Folks. Making some announcements right quick. I just want to remind you guys that uh, once the show closes, there will be a Meet the Makers panel discussion in the Washington, Virginia room, and we still have space available there. This is going to be, this is something that no other pen show has done yet. I don't know if y'all can make and out the announcements. So you be the first to see something like this. It's your opportunity to hear from makers Chet Herbert, Mike Yeah, there's Allen, Sister T back there. Richard L. Greenwald. And all of a sudden, I've been planning this forever, and the, and the last name, like, Brooks. 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 Yep. Okay. Oh, you can hear it? Okay, good. Ken are like looking at me and smiling, and I see Mike Madison. Okay, thank you very much. There's, you know, this is moderated by Brad. Dad, oh, well, Anna. From the Pen Addict and oh, Anna. Company. Um, this is going to be a really cool event. And the good news is, it is going to be live streamed on YouTube by Mike Madison from Ink Dependence. So... You want to join in <laughs> no, big deal. Don't tell anybody that, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Mario. Like this, Mario. Remember, it was Baltimore, Washington International Pen Show. 
<laughs> it was a nice shout out, right? <laughs> There's also a robo gym over there. Uh, I think uh, I think that might be Ralph. Is who it looks like? Black jacket. That's probably Ralph there. Yep. Yeah, I think that is a Ralph, Ryan. Yep. All right, let's move around to the rest of this room before it gets uh, too closed. I have all kinds of cool Estabrooks, including some of my favorite kind of dip sets. I love these dip sets right here. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just doing a little bit of YouTube. Oh, no, you're fine. Sorry. I'll step over. <laughs> I have some of those. They're a great dip set. They work with a lever-filling fountain pen, so you don't actually have to dip them. There's kind of a desk pen set up. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Yep, because this one yep. is the, the inkwell. The dipless well. Oh, it's got the ring too. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you wouldn't want to overfill it. That would be dangerous. That's right. <laughs> Plus, it looks cool. Yeah. So you just fill up the bottom there with ink and it kind of dips into it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See you, Tony. You got Paul Areno here. He's counting money. Well, we can't see that anyway. <laughs> there he is. I walked right past you? Well, sorry, man. No, just talking to somebody who's making comments on the screen. Yeah, yeah. Go back to counting money. You're fine, bro. Yeah, yeah. They type stuff and it scrolls up the screen as we go. Yeah, it's neat. I'll show you how to do it sometime. We can talk about it sometime. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's all kinds of good vintage in here. Yeah. Oh, the squeaky sounds. Yeah, that's right. Can you shout at Nick to check his texts? Hey, Nick, check your texts. <laughs> Somebody's telling me to tell you that. Yeah, there he is, looking confused. He doesn't know where his phone is, so it's fine. <laughs> there we go. That's not... What are you talking about? Uh, hold on a second. Let me get rid of... Uh, there we go. I had to get rid of somebody. Got some really cool pencil sharpeners here. Look at this guy. Here, I'll love. This is the this is the El Costco Model 430 Espana. All right, it's made in the Basque region of France. This is actually a handmade pencil sharpener, old school. You actually have to take pay attention to what you're doing with this thing, and you have to be mindful of the fact that you're sharpening a pencil. So this is one of my other, this is one of my favorites. This is the Ranger, this is a Boston Ranger Model 55. And these two pencil sharpeners, you can actually adjust the point on the back by, by moving that's, this little, it's cool really trick. cool. These things are cool. Yeah. And uh, this one was made after World War II. When you empty this thing out, you have to take this thing apart here. And they actually called the, the thing on the bottom where the where the shavings come out, a Bombay. Nice. So they carried over a lot of the terms from World War II. And of course, lots of pencils to go with them. Wood case pencils, all vintage. So yes, I'm getting into pencils. It's not just about pens anymore. I mean, I guess that's all right. Video show here. You could show them your tattoo. Didn't you get it already? Show your tattoo. No. Uh, we're getting shown a tattoo. This is going to be safe for, uh, oh, it's an arm tattoo? Oh, that is, uh, that is freaking awesome, actually. I was a little worried when he said, show him your tattoo, but. I've got others. Woo! That is real cool, man. Thank you. Just had done the other, finished the other day. Really? Yeah. I mean, it looks, it looks tight. It's all flaky now. Cause yeah. It's yeah, I can see it up on her arm there. Yeah. Looks nice, man. <laughs> looks nice. <laughs> So yeah, you can find wood case pencils and that sort of thing. Threw a bunch of cash last year for vintage pencils. Yeah, he'll take your cash for sure. What's the new Black Pen Society pen look like? Um, Audrey has one. I don't have one around here. Ticonderogas are... There you go, Julie. There's some Ticonderogas. You want me to pick you up some vintage uh, <laughs> vintage ones? No. <laughs> My sister's a math teacher, so she needs some, uh, some pencils sometimes. <laughs> uh oh Sarah's going to get on you about pencils, Julie. Got to watch out. <laughs> Y'all can talk pencils. I don't know anything about them. 
some more paper if you want piles of Rhodia and such. This one actually is one I'm not familiar with. The graph book. Looks pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Now, if you want some fancy envelopes, those Claire Fontaine envelopes are real nice. Real nice. Uh, going down this way, this is Nick Pang's table. Nick does occasionally pretend to sell pens, uh, mostly dip pen holders. Some hand carved, some sort of cast, but really cool. Hey, Michelle, hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. These are for holding dip nibs. We have some folded nibs here. Uh, uh, Bijou, you and, uh, yeah, yeah, we can, we can do that. It's not a problem at all. Not a problem. I will pass on pencils. I just don't use them. <laughs> Julie has a good use case for pencils. I'll allow it. The blue is hot? Yeah, it is. There's a Nick Pang, master calligrapher. Also some more vintage stuff in here. Keychains. <laughs> and we're back at Queen's Inc. Um, I'm going to zip around to the middle right quick. So. Blue ones are like 10 bucks. Oh, nice. I think my next step for filming these is going to be to get a steady cam. Uh, did you miss Nick? Uh, kind of. He's on the other side. He's talking with some folks. Hey, what's up? There's a Joseph right here, helping folks out. Hello. The interweb selling. Hello. Yeah. You missed him? Yeah, you missed him. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, man. Uh, we have here raw chocolates. We've got chocolate-covered coffee. i got to try some of these things. We've got dates. We've got truffles, liquid chocolate shots. You need yourself a chocolate pick-me-up in the middle of a show. Come back here to the back of the ballroom. Some awesome vintage in here as well. There's Chet Herbert, who will be in the Makers panel later on this evening. We'll be hearing from him. And here are some of the things that Chet and Makers. There we go. There we go. And some rods, some really nice suspended ribbons. These are ribbons of ink, aren't they, in these? No, oh. that's Oh, it's paper. That's right. Let's see if I can show you this. There you go. This is what it looks like when you make a pin out of it. There you go. Yeah, right on. All kinds of cool materials. Yeah, paper colored thing. That's right. Yeah. Show you the purple. Um, this one's kind of purple. It's sort of a. That's resin and resin. Oh, it's resin and resin. There you go. It's a little bit of a dark blue. I don't know if it's really a purple. Oh, did you mean this one? There you go. This is your speed, I think. It's kind of your jam. Yeah. This one's right up my alley. Some blue and white and orange. It's pretty cool. Thanks, Joe. We'll see you later, man. More vintage. Uh, what about the pink one? Oh, I already left. And uh, it looks like some people haven't actually gotten here. SHSU. Yeah, your colors were uh, were pretty much those, weren't they, Julie? Going down here, we've got uh, Bexley's over here with Howard. Haven't seen him in a little while, so it's nice to catch up. Some Bexley pens and some vintage stuff here on this table. <laughs> got a Bill Weekly here. They have, oh, he has ink, he says. That's good. And Toledo pens? Which one's what? Oh, right. Yeah, you missed me visiting Jonathan Brooks, Sandra. Sorry. That's back at the beginning-ish. Oh, yeah. And here's the desk set. A nice, a nice writer set right here. And pick up this bit. Yeah. This? Yeah, I don't think I can. Oh, this is why. Oh. No, 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 no. I want, I want it to be closed. Yeah, yeah. He oh, wanted, you he don't told want to see to, what's under there. No, he told me to close that and then lift it. 
Oh, you mean like pick up the whole thing. Oh, right, yeah, it folds up into a box, yeah. Yep, there you go. Yep. Thanks for the assist, I appreciate it. That's pretty cool, thanks, Bill. Right here. What's that now? Oh, right, I see it. Royal warrant pens from Parker here. These guys are chatting. Oh, pardon me. This is Pierre here from Desiderata Pens. You can see his stuff in acrylic, in wood. He makes pens that fit all kinds of interesting nibs from Yovos to Zebra G's and all kinds of cool things. But uh, check him out at Desiderata Pen Company. Like this. Cards, you said. Well, you know, they're a whole lot thicker. <laughs> That'll translate well to video. Oh, yeah. Oh, they are thick. That's, yeah. a, that's two C's, man. <laughs> thick, with, thick with two C's. <laughs> yeah. High performance flex option, yeah. So. Right on. Yep. Go check out Pierre's work online or come up here to the pin show. He is right down the middle aisle toward the end. Can't miss him. It's this guy right here. Right on. <laughs> see Pierre. <laughs> One of my favorite people to see at a pin show. Uh, where do you buy those cards? I don't know. Where'd you get those cards from, man? Moo. Moo? That's where I get my cards, too. They're good stuff. Uh, no, Facebook. Oh, no. YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. iTube. We all tube for YouTube. We have Private Reserve, Inc. <laughs> Doing well, thanks. Doing a little live YouTube action. There we go. Come check out the Private Reserve. One of the first brands of ink I ever started using, actually. See if they have the American Blue is probably my favorite one out of the line. Although I started out with Black Cherry and um, what was the other one? Another blue, Lake Placid was the other one I started out with. Naples Blue, really nice one. Yeah, come check them out here. <laughs> there we go. We got the Pin Guardian. Uh, oh man, my back started twinging. Pardon? Cut you? I'm good at that. It's cool, man. I was going to give him a survey. Uh, why are there two color swatches? Uh, just to show how it looks. There are different kinds of color swatches. So the top one looks like it was done with probably a Q tip, and the bottom one looks like it was just kind of. Uh, a number eight round paintbrush. Oh, a paintbrush is what you use for the top one. Yeah, it's number and, eight round. And the bottom is just left to pool? It's That's just, a, uh, yeah, it's just a regular. Just a. Uh, yeah. uh, Oh, I'm so tired. I understand. Um, uh, glass dip pen. Oh, right on. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Shows off different characters in the ink. Uh, yeah, those are fun little squat bottles. Look at them. Look at these little guys. There you go. Tiny. Yep. Pen Guardian are all very nice uh, leather pen cases where you can, and this one actually Made already in has. Made in Pennsylvania by this guy right here. As he's eating a sandwich. Two of us. Oh, two. I do the I do the patent work and all, I own the company, but I have a guy who does the sewing for me. He does all he does all the construction at this point. Oh, cool. You'll find them here at PinGuardian.com. Check those out. Uh, yeah, I have a blog, YouTube channel, all that kind of jazz. What's, uh, do you have a card or something? I do. I'll come back and give you one. Okay. I'll be here all weekend. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, one of the cool things about these cases is you can take the interior pin insert right out, and it's actually got a cutout for clips and such, so you can actually use the uh, the other case for other things, or uh, just get good get quick access. pH neutral leather. pH neutral leather, he says. Actually, it's calf skin leather. Calf skin. Right on. Yeah. Variety of colors and patterns. Some nice folios, zip cases. It's like passport cases, probably. Oh, passport or uh, pocket notebook size. Yeah. Really nice, really nice patterns in some of these. Yeah, Very we cool. Don't, we don't bleach them or sand them or anything. It's the way the leather. Just as they come, huh? Nice. Thanks. Appreciate it. I'll be back. Thank soon. you. And over here, some of you may not have seen. Let's see. Calf. Yep, calf skin. That's kind of a big deal. No, no, no. Yeah, these are leather. Sorry, I'm looking through the comments here a little bit. Kind of a beard deal, I like that. That's true, but 
Uh, these are all pop-up cards. You can get down closer where you can see them. Stick my face on the leather. Don't do that. Okay. Owls, farm equipment, Volkswagen Beetles, chains, motorcycles, dragons, soccer games. He's going to show us one in action here. Boom. Oh, pen and ink. Nice for the show. Cool. Yep, very cool. And they fold flat. You can find them here. Roseswithoutthorns.net is where you'll find them. You can also find them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Spears. Yeah. Oof. Let's check these guys. We have John from Lemur Inc. Here with all kinds of, uh, don't mind me, I'll just, oh, thanks, man. Here with all kinds of uh, pen stuff. Ah, very nice to see. Oh. oh, yeah. There you go. Get those in there. <laughs> and ink swatches. Ink swatches for days. Yep. And testers, yes? Right on. Inked. There you go. <laughs> as well as Kvekos and Twisbees. Oh, this is the, the new Pilot Limited Edition Vanishing Point. What's this one called? Um, metal Lines or Stripes or what is it? It's a Stripes. It's a Stripes? The Metal oh. Line is the other one that no one wants. This is the one everyone wants. <laughs> That's right. This yeah, is this, is, this is the cool one. This is the cool one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's the last one left. It's the last one. Oh, nice. I You don't see them too often. No. Yeah. Yours Very cool. Today for only $320. $320 is not a bad price for not that bad. one. Yeah, no. it's good. I like it. Yeah. Right on. All right. And then there's some blank space back there that we didn't see, but I think some people just haven't come to set up yet. Uh, let me get down this side here, and that'll pretty much be the show. The reason I'm groaning a little bit is I, uh, I tweaked my back today just standing still, and it hasn't really been right since. Hey, how's it going, man? There we go. That's good vintage stuff. Always check the vintage trays. We go legendary leads here with uh, John. Some books by John. Basically, took his blog, uh, the Leadheads pencil blog, and bound it, which is pretty cool. A sweet Leadhead pen, uh, pencil cup or coffee mug. There we go. There's Joe here. Right on, Alan Shaw's stuff. See some of these pens. They're bolt action pens, so probably ball points. Some private reserve. Some things I don't know what they are. But nonetheless, look pretty cool. There's one with an axe on it for the axe man in your life. Julie, I think Adam might need one of those. <laughs> no, it's a monopod. It's like a tripod, but which one sticks so I can hold it steady? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm, you know, trying to make these better. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I got to get around to um, Gregory Leather here. Uh, I'm gonna zip through a few things here. Urban Sketchers were here. They've gone home. What time is it now? Five o'clock. Yeah, people are packing up. Here's uh, Mario still setting up for the day. He was all telling me last night, hey, where you been? I got here hours ago. And uh, now, he's, uh, now he's setting up his stuff. <laughs> Always check out Mario's table. You're never really sure what he's going to have here. In fact, most of this hasn't even been put out yet. But if you're looking for gorgeous limited editions and rare pens, uh, this is a guy to come to. And if he doesn't have it, he probably knows who does, honestly. So he's one of my go-to guys for those kinds of things. Here on this. And over here, some more of his table. These look like moderns. Oh, Leonardo's and such. Some Aurora's. I haven't tried any Leonardo's yet. I need to do that. There we go. There's Hirsch. Awesome selection of vintage pins, as always. 
If you have kids, bring them over. We have the pins for kids from the Pin Collectors of America. They have uh, scavenger hunts, freebies, all kinds of fun stuff for the kids. Definitely bring them over here. Get them going around the show floor, finding stuff, talking to vendors, getting to know pins. It's a great thing to have for kids. Now, this is Garney & Co. Here's the sign down there. These are some of the most awesome leather goods at a show. Also makes these stools, which I have tried out and are very comfortable. He's uh, enjoying one right there. That's the face of a man who's sitting on a comfortable stool right there. Uh, check out these leather goods. Right here. I love this new texture they've got going on in these. Super nice. Card holders, slimline wallets, glasses cases. And back up a little bit. And then pin rolls. Yeah, yeah. And then pin rolls. These are some very cool pin rolls. The strap wraps all the way around. They've got off-color insides. It's, it's sort of like, it's kind of like a teal in real life. It's coming off blue on the camera, but it's like a nice bright red and teal. There we go. So you slip the tab through there, unwrap the whole thing, and there you go. Very nice pin protection. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. There's a blue and gold. I really, I really like these pen rolls. Yeah, they are fancy, right? Passport holders or just large wallets, depending on what you're into. Notebook cases. I know, right, Sarah? Those are darn cool. And then there's these satchels. Look at this satchel. Only 275. Not bad at all for that handwork. Thick leather. Pen and pencil wood blocks. Notebook covers and cases. Uh, sling bags. Red and blue is real nice, right? And then uh, Jessie has uh, all kinds of... There's a Jessie! We saw her earlier, but uh, here she is with her table. Esther books for days. Nibs. You can test out all of these nibs. There's some of Nick Pang's work. Where the, where the Esther books are. Aww. <laughs> it's true. Pastels, look at those. So cute. This is a nib testing station. There's a little wand around here somewhere. You can jam on those nibs. There's one. Yeah, there you go. And you can just jam it on there, pull the nib out, and uh, dip it and try it out. She's protecting her ink bottle from spillage with this adorable silicone uh, pot. Uh, so, lots of fun to be had here. Definitely stop by and try out some Esterbrook nibs because they are great. Yeah, yep, purse pins indeed. Indeed. And also some like real tiny ones. Those are wee little pens. Those are pencils. Oh, they're pencils. <laughs> you can imagine the face I'm making. Oh, like Eeyore. Yeah, oh. kind of like that. So anyway, this has been uh, the Baltimore International Pen Show. Thank you very much for hanging out. I uh, hope that uh, hope y'all enjoyed the walkthrough and the video remained good and strong throughout without being jittery and crap like the Philadelphia Pin Show was. This one has better Wi-Fi. <laughs> okay, I paid for the Wi-Fi this time, so it would be better. You're welcome. Thanks very much, patrons, for giving me cash to pay for Wi-Fi with. Um, that's been pretty much the whole show. I think I've hit just about everything. Hey, Brian. Uh, hey, what's up? Uh, there might be a couple of things I skipped over in the middle. Oh, you know what? There are a couple of things I skipped over. Um, this dude over here has a table full of Nakayas in front of him, so check that out. Um, and then uh, Jerry Berg over here is one of the very best uh, Schaefer Vac restorers around. Definitely a dude to go to if you want to see Schaefer Vacs. Um, but uh, whew, my back actually kind of hurts from holding up this, uh, this camera setup right now, so I'm going to go ahead and ring off. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, and again, I'll be back at 6 o'clock, so in a couple hours, oh, geez, like... Uh, an hour-ish to, uh, to uh, show the, um, the Makers panel with uh, Brad Dowdy and Chet Herbert and uh, Jonathan Brooks and uh, I forget who all else, Richard Greenwald and somebody else. Oh, there's another Tiante's back over there. She's been avoiding me. I haven't gotten to see her. Yeah, I'll take care of the back. It'll be fine. It's way better and my pills have worn off, so I'm fine. I'm going to take some more Advil and I'll be totally good, but uh, I'm going to set this down.